The lionfish is a slow-moving and colorful carnivore native to the Indo-Pacific. Populations of this fish are rapidly spreading, and they are currently an invasive species in the Atlantic Ocean. Lionfish are top predators that compete for food with the native fish on reefs in the Atlantic, such as snappers and groupers. Lionfish have no known predators, and they are able to reproduce all year long. Mature females can release around 2 million eggs per year. Adults can grow up to 18 inches long. Lionfish thrive in warm, tropical waters. They consume over 50 species of fish. Even though they are slow moving, their bright coloration and venomous spines ward off predators. They can travel alone or in small groups. Hunting takes place at night. They will corner their prey and stun it with one of their venomous spines before swallowing it. Lionfish have been known to consume the juveniles of large species like groupers, snappers, parrotfish, and surgeonfish. Larger lionfish have even been observed consuming smaller members of their own species. During the day, these fish remain inactive and shelter in reef crevices. As their invasive population grows, Lionfish fillets and competitions to spear the most lionfish are becoming more popular. They are also popular ornamental fish in aquariums and are commonly collected for the aquarium trade. Because of their aquarium popularity, it is possible that they were intentionally released into the Atlantic Ocean. It's likely that the invasion started sometime in the mid-1980s. That's when the first reported sighting was of lionfish, just north of Miami. You have an animal that, once it invades, um, can really increase in population numbers very rapidly. Well, lionfish really are sort of the perfect storm. Uh, I think in many ways, as invasive species goes, they have a lot of characteristics which make them very successful in, in the invaded range. They reproduce very early in life, so they reach maturity, they grow very rapidly. They're capable of dispersing uh, large distances during their egg and larval phase, which ride ocean currents. A species that has venomous spines, they don't seem to have many native predators or predators in their invaded range here, so it's possible that because they're so armored with the venomous spines that that they don't have a lot of natural predators, which would lead them to basically not worry about in general, one of the major impacts that we're going to find from this is, is essentially the fact